welcome back to my channel my name is alicia and this is heart in hand creations and events welcome back guys today's diy will be the fireplace stay tuned guys you as you saw in today's title i am doing a fireplace i haven't done a fireplace in i guess two years it's been two years since i made one so I'm not going to use the same pattern that I used to make the last one because it seemed like it took so long. So I'm going to do something that's less time consuming and it'll still be just as sturdy as the other one. So guys, if you want to see what that's going to be about, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere and I'll be back in two seconds. Here are a few of the supplies that we will start off with. The rest will be listed in the description below right here I am taping two boards together and I did two sets all right guys I've taped up two boards one will be the front and one will be the back and here I am doing measurements for the hearth or the opening of the hearth guys I just wanted to give you a tip make sure that you have a very sharp blade it would be best to use a brand new one After I finished cutting out my hearth, I was ready to make the sides. I used four panels. I taped the pieces together to create the length for the sides of the fireplace. Okay guys, I have my sides on and what I'm going to do is reinforce the glue on the inside of both sides in the corners. The opening of, of my, my hearth, I need to glue these sides. This was the cutout from this part here. So I'm using, you know, recycling pieces. I'm using that bottom half to glue the inside of the um, hearth like this. It's gonna go like that. Here guys, once I have the inside panels to the hearth in place, this is where I begin to glue the front of the fireplace to the sides. I'd just like to say thank you for tuning into my channel. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button and come on in. Also, tap that notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you will know. And I'd like to say hello to all of my subscribers and my viewers. I hope that you are all in a safe space and in a safe place. Once the main structure of this fireplace was together, I went inside and reinforced the structure by gluing the corners of the inside of the fireplace. After that, I went ahead and continued to glue the side, inside panels of the hearth.
and this is what we have so far guys i am going to uh leave this alone for tonight and i'll come back to it tomorrow and we will see what it do all right guys it's been a few days since i last worked on the fireplace and um as you see this is the structure what we have going on so far all right these right here this is the baseboard this will go down the bottom these right here go on the inside to uh, bridge the gap to make it stronger i also have some trim over here this trim you see will go over the arch of the hearth i have um my own made up molding i guess you could say um which will go at the bottom of these column stencils and um i also have made up this rolled up cardboard which will be going in here to cover that space all right this lid pretty much just covers this like that i was trying to leave enough space so i could put some kind of lighting up underneath of it but this is how that goes goes on that uh, what do you call it? The mantle. Mm -hmm. So that goes on. Then this will go on top. So I tried to make a, a double mantle. Put a little bit of style to it. Right here is where I start gluing the curved part of the hearth just to finish it up. Right here is where I'm showing you what it looks like on the inside and I will be using hot glue to reinforce and hold that arch in place. I reinforced from the outside also. Right here is where I will be installing pieces of the styrofoam poster board to bridge the gap, as I said earlier, and it also supports the arch of the hearth on the inside. And here guys there's this is another support system that I am putting in place and this is for the top mantle before I finish um, structuring I do have to make sure that the top panel or the top mantle has a support um, system inside so that hey if the owner wants to sit their flat screen TV on top of it they can without worrying about it sinking on the, you know, sinking in. I also did the same thing for the base or the bottom of the fireplace. Make sure that I reinforce the outside of each seam. Once that was done, then I laid my second half or the second part of the mantle. I glued it in place. Making sure that it's even and lined up. And right here, this is where I continue to put the base on the bottom of the fireplace. As you see, I am 
doing my reinforcing with the hot glue. Right here guys, this is where I begin to install the marble contact paper. It's a little tricky, but it is easy once you get the hang of it. And this is what we have so far. I think it's coming along, guys. Here you see I have whitewashed the inside to create the grout look. Right here I have cut out the bricks and put them in place before I glued them. And once I had all my bricks in place, that's when I did a mock setting of the mosaic mirror tile for placement. Once I figured it out, then um, I began to install the mosaic tile mirror. That top curve, I, I had to install the mirrors as strips. And then once that was done, it was easy peasy. All I had to do was just peel off the backing and add it to the rest of the mirrors in place. And here it is, all complete. I think it looks great guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Right here I continue applying the rest of the um, contact paper to the top mantle and mosaic tile to the sides of the mantle. Once I completed the top mantle then I was ready to put on the rest of the detail. But look at how it's turning out, guys. This is really looking great. I almost don't want to do anything else to it. Right here you see I have my extra pieces of trim with my paint and roller at hand. And this is where I begin to um, add color to my trim pieces. And as you see there on the side I didn't get to show that part of the footage where I did apply some paint to the bricks. But here I'm finishing up all of my trim. After I let it dry, then I will apply all of my trim to my fireplace. Once I completed the final detailing, this is the final result. And guys, it turned out so beautiful. The details turned out the way I wanted them to. My vision has come to life. Guys, if you like what you see today on my channel, 
give me a thumbs up for a like hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel also tap that notification bell so when i come up with the next video you will know and guys i can't stop staring at this fireplace it turned out so nice here at the top on the mantle to you, you see a few of heart and hand creations to accent the look of the fireplace and give it a real homey feeling so if you guys like the content that i put out today hit that like button for a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel tap that subscribe button and the notification bell so when i come up with the next video you will know and guys leave a comment below let me know what you think about this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye